Yes, mate, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're talking about why I have invested into APXT. Now, this channel at the moment is sort of like a like a news reporting channel, purely focusing on APXT and its merger with Avpoint. Now, like I've said in many videos, this is not a hype channel. I will never ever hype a stock up. If you want to invest in the companies purely based on hype, this is not the channel for that. What I like to do is look into a company, look into investor presentations, look into different earnings reports, and basically look into the fundamentals of the company to see whether it is a good investment for me and then I film myself and do this content creating, which I enjoy, and then I put it out there for you guys to view. But like I say on many of my videos, I always have it in my description, and I have mentioned it in many, many different comments when I reply to, to everyone's comments. You have to do your own due diligence, and you have to have your own reason for investing into a company, and that reason should not be because I saw a YouTube video on it. So because I know a lot of people, including myself, are invested into APXT, I try and bring you guys the most up-to-date and latest information on APXT's merger with Avpoint. And I've sort of been a bit basically like a, a news reporter, just any news that happens on the day, I try and bring it out to you guys that afternoon so you guys get an understanding of what's happening with APXT and Avpoint. There is no hype surrounding this. Occasionally I give my price targets based on what I think because I know that a certain catalyst is coming up. So I think if that catalyst happens, and it and it goes the way I'm hoping it goes, we could hit this price point. Obviously, everyone has their own price targets, and price targets are exactly that. They're targets. These aren't definites. No one has a crystal ball that can see into the future. I give my opinions. I look at a stock. I think this is how it's been performing. These are upcoming catalysts, whether it's an investor event, whether it's upcoming earnings where they're supposed to beat their expected revenue, stuff like that. And I think perhaps that could have an impact on the share price, and that's why I'm going for this price target. Equally, if there's going to be a poor earnings report, or if I think there's some regulations coming out which might impact negatively on the company, then obviously you'd, you'd lower that price target. It's all about your own personal belief on that company and how you think the market will react to different catalysts. So let's get into APXT. Now, I'll try and bring you guys the latest information on APXT. And over the last couple of weeks, I've had lots of people commenting on my channel and, and just messaging me, sort of saying, when is the share price going to go up? We've invested when it was in the 16s, and now it's dropped into the 15s. We're losing money, etc. stuff like that. I, I should have invested in another stock. I could have invested in this stock and could have doubled my money. So all these type of questions have been sent my way, and I can't answer them for you. There must have been a reason why you invested into APXT at them initially. And that reason cannot be because you saw a YouTube video on it. That's not how you should invest your money. It's your money. You need to be responsible for that and make sure you're doing your own due diligence. I know a lot of people say this, but it's true. You have to do your own research. You can't you can't invest because someone said it might go up because you might have a different opinion on that company to that person you're watching. You have to do your own research is number one. And also when people say, oh, I could have invested in this stock and I could have doubled my money. Equally, you could have invested in a company and could have lost money. For example, LCA before it merged to perform Golden Nugget Online Gaming, you could have invested at $25 a share and you'll be sitting at $20 a share now. You could have invested in Alibaba when it was pushing that $300 per share mark and then it dropped all the way back to around $220. You could have invested in Tattooed Chef when it was getting all that hype and YouTube attention at $25, $26 a share, and now it's sitting in the $23 per share. So you can't let that affect your mindset. There must be a reason why you invested into this particular company. So for APXT and its merger with Avpoint, the reason why I've invested into this company, firstly, because I haven't got any exposure in my portfolio in that cloud-based sector. And I do think it is set to grow. And obviously, Avpoint believe that as well if you look into their investor presentation. So that's one thing, exposure into a sector that I haven't got a lot of exposure in. Secondly, when you actually look at Avpoint and how they've been performing, they're currently seeing 30% annual revenue growth, which I think is very, very solid for a company in this sector. And if you look at their forecasted annual growth for the 2021 and 2022, this is set to continue as well. So we've got a company that I haven't got any exposure into that sector and there's a company saying that they're projected they're seeing 30 percent annual revenue growth and they're expecting that to continue this company also has zero debt which is another fantastic thing which i look for especially if you're looking at a spac merger i want that company who it's going to become to be very very financially solid and Avpoint are, oh, they have zero debt at the moment. So this is something that I'm very, very happy with investing in, the fact that company has no debt, yet they've still managed to grow 30% year on year. Then if we take into account the fact that after the merger, Avpoint will have around $250 million in cash, which in the first investor um, event, Jeff Epstein actually said that they'll 
be looking to use this cash to grow the business and to potentially look at different acquisitions as well if the opportunity presents themselves. So they have over $250 million in cash that they're looking to grow the company. Also in the second investor presentation, TJ Zhang said that when the pandemic first started, they had to put their growth um, plans on hold. But over the last couple of months, they are ramping up their headcount. They're projected to um, grow their sales force by over 55%. And over the last two years, they haven't done anything. So they've grown their revenue year on year over the last two years without actually growing that headcount and actually growing their sales and marketing team. And then if you combine that with the fact that over 70% of their annual revenue is reoccurring revenue. So every year that they push into, they have accounted for over 70% of their revenue already through their annual contracts that they have secured with different customers. And also their average annual contracts last for around two and a half years. So they have that stickiness and that customer retention every single year. And then if you look on the fact that they only have 7 million of the 250 million users on Microsoft Office 365, that's set to double from 250 to 500 million in the upcoming years. And Avpoint wants to capture at least 10% of that market. So they're potentially looking at 7 million users right now to 50 million users in the future. So again, they're not holding back on their growth, um, their growth projections and their growth targets. They want to grow this company big with the cash through the merger that they are getting with Jeff Epstein there with a proven track record. I do believe there is a lot of good things about this company. But like I said, this is not a hype company. These are the reasons why I have invested into this company. And I do believe this is a very solid long term play. I feel safe knowing that my money is invested into Avpoint when you look at the fundamentals of the company. So please, 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 I mean this in the nicest way. Don't ask me why you've invested into this particular stock because I have no idea why you've invested. Please don't say you've invested because of my videos. Hopefully my videos bring you information that potentially um, helps you in your due diligence, but you need to do your own research as well. Like I said, this channel at the moment is just bringing you the latest information on APXT. We are not a hype um, channel. I will never be a hype channel. I will only talk about companies, to be honest, that I have an interest in. I've done videos in the past on different companies and at the end of the video, we've looked into the fundamentals and I've said, it's not a company that I want to invest in. So I'll never try and hype up a company just because I'm investing in it. I've done portfolio updates, so you know exactly what I'm invested in. I think APXT and its merger with Avpoint, they have solid fundamentals and I'm happy to invest in them. But you need to make that decision. If you're not happy to invest in any company and if you have any reservations, do not invest in that company. Don't let anyone talk you around either investing or staying into a company. You have to do what's right for you. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I really do appreciate the support. Everyone that subscribes, likes and comments, I really, really do appreciate it. You have no idea. So um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. So regardless of whether you're investing into APXT, buy buying more shares, selling some shares. I really wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much for watching and stay safe.